In this video, we will learn how to track contact form 7 submissions with Google Analytics 4 and Google Tag Manager. Hey, my name is Julius and welcome to Analytics Mania YouTube channel, where you can learn Google Tag Manager and Google Analytics. And if you want to stay up to date with Google Analytics 4, consider subscribing to the channel. Contact Form 7 is the most popular form plugin for WordPress. And if you have some important forms running on your site, for example, opt-in form, then it is absolutely necessary to track successful form submissions. And in this video, I will show you how to do that with Google Analytics 4 and Google Tag Manager. So let's dive in. Here I have a page with a demo contact form 7 form. And if I want to start tracking that, first let's take a look what we can get with Google Tag Manager. So let's go to Google Tag Manager, enable the preview mode by clicking the preview button, then we will need to enter the URL of the website. And now I see that my debugger is connected. If I go to the preview mode right here, I see that there are some page view related events and that my GA4 configuration tag is already fired. Now, I already presume that you have at least very basic knowledge of Google Analytics 4 and that you already have a GA4 configuration tag configured in your Google Tag Manager container. In my case, my configuration tag is very simple. It just contains one parameter, which is the measurement ID right here. Also, I have kept the page view event uh, automatically tracked when this tag is fired, but in your case, you might want to disable that. For example, if you're working with single page applications, but that is a topic for another video. So now let's just close this. And when I enable the preview mode, I see that my tag has fired. Now let's submit the form and see what happens. Since this is a demo form, I will just enter some gibberish. So the page view did not refresh. The URL of the page did not change. So this means that there is no thank you page. Now to save you some time, I will tell you that contact form seven cannot be tracked with the built-in form submission trigger in Google Tag Manager. So if you try to use this trigger, which is form submission, it will not work, at least in the context of contact form seven. One of the options that you could use is that you could try to implement the element visibility trigger and to track when this message appears on the screen. But now let's do another thing. In fact, in the description of this video, I will post a blog post about how to track contact form seven. So you should click that link and then you should go to the section that is called auto event listener. Now here you should copy this little code snippet and we will need to implement it in Google Tag Manager. This code snippet is designed specifically to track successful form submissions of contact form seven. So once you copy this code go to Google Tag Manager and then go to tags. In the tags section, click new, tag configuration, custom HTML and paste this code. Fire this code on all pages. So in the triggering section, click all pages. And then you can name this tag. Usually I call it like that. CHTML stands for custom HTML and then contact form seven listener or anything else. This is up to you. Save. And now let's check whether this listener, this custom code is actually able to spot when the form is successfully submitted. Now let's refresh the preview mode by clicking the preview button. And then let's submit the form once again. Click send. And then I see the success message. And if I go to the preview mode of Google Tag Manager, I see a new event, which is sent here, which is visible here when the form is successfully submitted. So if I click it, and if I go to the data layer, I will see a bunch of data that was made available by that custom code that we implemented in Google Tag Manager. So first of all, we have an event name. This is CF7 submission. Then we have form ID. And we also have the values of all the form fields of that successful form submission. Now what we need to do is that we need to tell Google Tag Manager that when an event occurs in the data layer and that event contains this value, which is CF7 submission, we want to fire a Google Analytics 4 tag that will send this event to Google Analytics 4. So first let's copy this event name and go to Google Tag Manager. Now go to triggers, click new, trigger configuration. And what you will see is that none of these triggers is somehow related directly to contact form seven. That is why we need to choose a custom event. 
because all the other events that are not covered by these triggers are covered by this custom event trigger. So click it and then paste CF7 submission. Now let's name the trigger. You can name this whatever you want, but this must be exactly what you see in the preview mode right here, which is the event name, also known as the value of the parameter event. Save this, then let's create a tag. So go to tags and then go to new tag configuration, GA4 event, then select your existing GA4 configuration tag. What will happen is that this event tag will reuse the settings of this particular configuration tag. And that tag, at least in my case, has only one setting, which is measurement ID. So this event tag will know to which exact property should it send the data. Then event name. So event name can be whatever you want. And in this case, Google Analytics 4 is quite flexible. So you can name it contact form or form submission or lead form or opt-in or something else. This basically depends on your naming convention that you are using in your property. So I can name something like that. Before we continue, I have a quick update. Only after recording this video, I realized that I actually forgot that there is one recommended event for form submissions and that event can be found in the retail slash e-commerce section of recommended events and that event is called generate lead so instead of form submission event right here you should enter generate lead event name i mean most likely nothing wrong will happen if you keep using the form submission event right here but google just recommends that you should use generate lead event for all the form submissions According to official statements made by Google, recommended events are supposed to help the machine learning of Google Analytics 4 better understand what kind of data are you sending. Now, what does that mean in reality? Well, we don't know yet, but maybe in the future that will help. So to sum up, you should use generate lead event name instead. Now, this is just a quick update and keep in mind that because throughout the rest of the video, I will still keep using the form submission because I have already recorded and edited all the video and this is just a quick update. But when you implement contact form seven tracking, you could use generate underscore lead. So that's it for this quick update and let's continue watching the video. Then we can leave this event as it is, or maybe you have multiple contact form seven forms on your website and you want to distinguish which exact form was submitted. Now, if this is actually your the case, let's go to the preview mode and see what we have else. In this case, we have a parameter called form ID. So how about we use this parameter in our tag? We can do that by creating a data layer variable that returns the value of this particular form ID parameter. So first of all, double click on this parameter and copy it. Now let's go to Google Tag Manager, then expand the event parameters and click add new row. So now we are going to send a new parameter of which value will be a data layer variable. We're now going to create that variable, which will return this particular value. So in the value field, we should click the button that will allow us to choose the variables in our Google Tag Manager container. However, we don't have any data layer variables that return the form ID. Well, at least yet, but we can do that by clicking this plus icon and we will create a new variable, which is data layer variable. And in here we enter the parameter name that we see in the data layer right here. Here is the name of the parameter that is in the data layer right here. So let's name the variable then. I usually name them DLV, which is data layer variable. And then the name of the parameter that I access in the data layer. Click save. And here you can enter the name of the parameter that you want to see in your report. So this is basically the output, the value. And in this case, that is nine, but how do you want to see that parameter in your Google Analytics 4 report? It might be ID, it might be form ID, it might be contact form ID or anything else. In this case, we are quite flexible and we can enter whatever we want. So in my case, let's choose form underscore ID. So what will happen is that when this tag is fired, we will send form submission event to Google Analytics 4 and together with this event, we will send a parameter called form ID and the value of this parameter will be 
this particular value. Now, if we submit some other form and that form's ID is, let's say, six, then our data layer variable will take this particular parameter, will take its value, and will insert it right here in this field. So it looks like we are done with the main configuration of the tag. Now let's configure when exactly do we want this tag to fire. So we should click on triggering section and then choose the previously created custom event trigger right here. The final piece is to name this tag. I usually do it like that, GA4 event, and then what kind of event? So form submission, click save. Now let's test whether everything is working properly. So click preview to refresh the preview mode. You will see this loader, the page will reload, and then let's submit the form once again. Click send, the form is successfully submitted. Now I go to the preview mode and I see that the CF7 submission event is now in the preview mode. I click it and I see that my form submission event has fired. Now I can click it and see what kind of information was sent. So for example, I see the name of the variable, but if I want to see what kind of actual value was sent, I can switch to values and I will see that this is the value nine. In fact, if you close this and while being on CF7 submission event, you go to variables, you will see that the variable DLV form ID value is nine. This is because you have this parameter in the data layer right here. Now, if you also want to access these fields, for example, uh, this field or this field, I will post an additional blog post below the video on how to access various data values in Google Tag Manager data layer. And now back to the tag, we see that it is fired, but that is not the end of the story. We still need to make sure that this data was properly received by Google Analytics 4. That is why we go to Google Analytics and then on the left side of the interface, we should go to debug view right here. Click it and eventually you should start seeing your event right here. Now, in my case, sometimes there is some delay between the actual moment when I send the event and when that event appears in the debug view. And actually quite often I see situations where you send the event to Google Analytics 4 and the debug view has maybe five or 10 minutes delay. And after that time passes, you immediately start seeing your events right here on the right sidebar but also those events become available somewhere in the past. So when you start seeing your event right here, you should scroll down and keep looking for the event. Now I'm going to pause this video and we'll continue when the form submission event comes in. Okay, so now I have resumed the recording and if I scroll down, I will see my form submission event right here. And if I click it, I will see the form ID parameter, which is nine. Also, if you still don't see any events right here, make sure that you have selected the correct device because sometimes it is possible that more than one device will be available in the debug view. So in the end, once you start seeing your event right here, this means that it was properly sent to Google Analytics 4. And within 24 hours, that event will appear in the all events section right here. Then it will also appear in the engagement and events table. And there are some other reports as well. But in this case, I presume that you already have at least some basic knowledge of Google Analytics 4. Now, speaking of that form ID parameter, if you want to start seeing that parameter in reports and use it in, let's say, an analysis hub, then you should go to all events section right here, then manage custom definitions and create a new custom definition where you should enter the parameter name that you included with that form submission event. So in our case, that is form ID. So I should copy this here, then paste it right here and click save. So after you do that, within 24 hours, you should start seeing this parameter in your event reports. And also obviously your event will be available here as well somewhere. And if you want to mark all form submission events as conversions, which is a very important event, then you should click this toggle button right here next to that particular form submission event. If you want to learn more about how to configure conversions in Google Analytics 4, I will add some additional resources below the video. And that is how you track contact form 7 with Google Analytics 4 and Google Tag Manager. Also, don't forget to mark those form submissions as conversions in GA. 
If you found this video useful, hit the thumbs up button below the video because it helps me continue working on this channel. Also, if you want to learn more about Google Tag Manager and Google Analytics 4, consider subscribing to this channel. My name is Julius, this is Analytics Mania and I'll see you in the next video.